Okay, folks, after getting a couple hours of sleep, here we are. Just wanted to, you know, let you know what's going on, what's different in, uh, in uh, the uh, Mi A2 now that has Android 10. And it's not a whole lot. I will show you a few things uh, coming up right after we do the intro. And then we're going to get to the meat of the matter. And I'll show you a couple of little videos of how to do things on the screen. And uh, you can wing it from there. Uh, for the most part, there isn't any real big changes. But let's save that for after the intro. Thanks for watching so far. And make sure you like and subscribe and leave some damn feedback. And the other, the other uh, video, you know, just saying it was officially released, got almost 200 hits so far, so far as I could tell. Yeah. And I got like three comments, and two of them are mine. Let's get to that end. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com, as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly if you have a free version. Uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer and I'm only paying $4 and 50 cents a month. So check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech and now let's get back to that video we were doing all right folks we're back uh we had to do the tube buddy ad and uh so we're going to show you a couple of short video clips uh of i shot i just went and downloaded a to z screen recorder and uh These are kind of like little how-tos. Well, one of them is just kind of a fun one. <coughs> and the other is a, a how-to. And then after that, we'll talk about dark mode. There ain't no such thing, folks. It's called dark theme. All them reviewers, dark mode, dark mode, dark mode, dark mode. Wrong. It's dark theme. And it works quite well. At least with apps that, you know, can adhere to that uh, dark mode or have one. You know, especially inside of Google Apps. You go to the Play Store, everything's you know, black with white writing. It, it's kind of cool. And then we'll save you some battery. So let's get to that first video. It's going to come up on the screen right now. All right, folks, so as we all know, we got Android 10 on here, but I'm going to show you something pretty cool right here. Yeah, probably didn't know you could do this. Yeah, you can screw around with the... logo all you want in the cookie thingy. Make it Android. Then add away. Android. Then add away. Or Android way down there. 
pretty slick. All right, folks. Uh, the next clip, that first one was just a little fun we were having. It, it is kind of cool if you, you know, go to your about phone and click on the Android 10 about three, four times, and it'll pop up, and then you can slide the numbers around and screw around with it. It's just amazing what Google has for time on their hands. Uh, the next one, uh, if you watch all the videos on Android 10, uh, you're going to see constant and steady reminders. Yeah. Well, it's good gesture mode, the little pill. I hate gesture mode. All my other phones have buttons. Yeah. How do you get to the navigation buttons? Pretty damned easy. I'll show you right now. Here we go. All right, folks. Uh, so, of course, I'm sure you're wondering, how do you get rid of that stupid, you know, how do, you, how do I get my buttons back? I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go in here. And at the top, you're just going to type in nav uh -huh. Uh -huh. And now it's going to ask you, three button, two button, or a little pill thing. If you're like me, you go to the three button and you're done. That's all you need to do. You select it. You now have buttons like I do on the screen. Is that cool or what? Yeah. Of course it's cool. <laughs> so that's about all we have. Uh, I'll continue to play around with it. The interface looks very similar to Android 9. Cooler colors. Minor things have changed. Most of the stuff you can get to just like I did the navigation. By going up to the top of the... And when you hit settings, then type it in what you're looking for. And if it's available, you'll find it. So, all that being said, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please share this video and just i'd really like to get over 400 subscribers by the end of this weekend and we're already near the end of this weekend we need 10 more to be truthful i'd be ecstatic if we got three uh that's all we have for today I'll post up some other videos in the corners, uh, like I always do. And uh, catch you in the next one.